Hello and welcome back to Asanas and Wellness. My name is Latoya and today I'll be guiding you through a short yin practice. So this is perfect for days when you don't have a lot of time or when you just don't feel like doing a long sequence. Um, this is great. It's actually all in a reclined position. So the full sequence is reclined. It will end in uh, Sukhasana. As far as props, I'll be using a bolster today and I'll also be using one block. Um, however, if you have, um, you may not need a block, a bolster is fine. If you don't have a bolster, um, you can use a blanket, just fold up your blanket or roll it up. Um, I'll be, we'll be using it for a supported fish pose and supported bridge pose. Um, so a rolled blanket is fine. But you could also use blocks or things, something that, um, is similar to a block that can support your body weight. All right. Um, so yeah. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay. So we'll start our practice in supported fish pose. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. If you're just using your bolster, um, you, you can turn, bring your bolster uh, right up to your lower back and you can come back on to the bolster. Now I'll be using mine the other direction and I'll be coming down so that my shoulder blades spill right over the top of the bolster. And I'll be using the block under my head. And if you like, bring your feet into butterfly position for this pose. Bring your arms up overhead if you'd like to get a stretch into your shoulders as well, or, or feel free to leave them um, on your lower belly or floor, whatever feels right. We'll be holding these poses for approximately two minutes. If you're using a block under your head, you can use it on whichever level feels right for you. So you may have to kind of play with it for just a moment to see how deep you want to go. And if this is too intense, you could always um, just do the butterfly pose. Don't use any props under your back at all. Just lie flat to the mat with, your, with the soles of your feet touching. Using your hands maybe to bring your knees back up to touching. Then we're gonna kind of roll up out of our uh, fish pose. Maybe also bringing your, your left shoulder up. Removing that prop, both props. And from here, we're going to be going into banana pose, coming down into the mat. You have to walk your feet over towards the left side of your mat, and then bring your arms overhead and adjust your arms, your upper body towards the left as well. Using your left hand, you wanna grab onto your right wrist. And if it feels right, you may wanna cross your right ankle over your left. 
just kind of go with what feels right for you today. If you're looking to feel a stretch along the right side of your body. slowly adjusting your upper body back to center and then your feet let's take it over to the other side so walk your feet all the way over towards the right then adjusting your arms and upper body using your um, your right hand this time to gently pull your left wrist and remembering to breathe energetically sending your breath over towards that left side breathing deeply in and out of your nose if it feels right um, close your eyes during your practice and just keep, keep your awareness within you focus on what you're feeling And slowly release. Bring your upper body back to center and then walk your feet back. And from here, we'll go into a supine twist. So, bringing the soles of your feet to the mat, adjust your hips, lift your uh, hips up and over to the right, maybe an inch or so. Bring your legs up your arms up to cactus position and allow your legs to fall over towards the left. And try to keep that left shoulder down to the mat. You could always use a block between your knees. If you like, and that can kind of help um, that shoulder reach the mat on whatever level feels right for you.
and bring your knees back up. Go ahead and adjust your hips over uh, towards the right side of your mat. And when you're ready, allow your legs to fall over towards the left. and bringing your knees back up. From here, we will go into our happy babies, adjusting back into the center of your mat. Bring your feet up. Use your index finger and middle finger to maybe hook onto your big toe. Creating some resistance here. Yeah, or gently pr pressing your feet up elbows should be on the inside of your knees and try to bring your lower back so that it's flat down to the mat it may try to curl up let's try to keep it flat Slowly release and now grab your bolster or your block or your blanket. I'm going to press into your heels to bring your prop under your hips. If you're using the block right at your sacrum for our supported bridge pose, so feel free to stay here or extend both legs for a nice opening along the front of your body. Just bring your arms out to each side. Allow yourself to really kind of melt into the pose.
on here. I'm going to bring your feet back to the mat to remove your prop. And from here, we're going to either come into constructive rest, or bring your feet as wide as your mat, and allow your knees to kind of fall in towards one another. If this is not comfortable, feel free to extend your legs and take Shavasana for a couple of minutes here. Placing your hands either on your belly or on the mat with your palms facing up, shoulders down away from your ears, Just allowing yourself to relax and to enjoy this final pose. Making note of where you feel different or how you feel different from when you first started. Begin to deepen your breath. And slowly begin to open your eyes. Bringing your awareness back to the room around you. And when you're ready, roll to one side. And slowly press your way up to a seated cross-like position or Sukhasana. Bring your palms together to your heart center and we'll end our practice with a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out of the mouth. Inhale. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Namaste. Leave a comment below to let me know how you felt after this sequence. Remember to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching.